Imagine you were born in 1900. When you are 14, World War I begins and ends when you are 18 with 22 million dead. Soon after a global pandemic, the Spanish flu appears, killing 50 million people. And you are alive and 20 years old. When you are 29, you survive the global economic crisis that started with the collapse of the New York Stock Exchange, causing inflation, unemployment and famine. When you are 33 years old, the Nazis come to power. When you are 39, World War II begins and ends when you are 45 years old with a 60 million dead. In the Holocaust, 6 million Jews die. When you are 52, the Korean War begins. When you are 64, the Vietnam War begins and ends when you are 75. A child born in 1985 thinks his grandparents have no idea how difficult life is. but they have survived several wars and catastrophes today we have all the comforts in our new world amid a new pandemic but we complain because we need to wear masks we complain because we must stay confined to our homes where we have food electricity running water wifi and even netflix none of that existed back in the day but humanity survived those circumstances and never lost their joy of living a small change in our perspective can generate miracles We should be thankful that we are alive. We should do everything we need to do to protect and help each other. This message should reach everyone. Please help spread it. $30,000 car. The road and distance are the same and we get to the same destination. Whether we drink a bottle of $300 or $10 wine, the hangover is the same. Whether the house we live in is 300 or 3000 square feet, loneliness is the same. You will realize your true inner happiness does not come from the material things of this world. Whether you fly first or economy class, if the plane goes down, you go down with it. Therefore, I hope you realize when you have mates, buddies and old friends, brothers and sisters, who you chat with, laugh with, talk with, have sing songs with, talk about north, south, east, west or heaven and earth. That is true happiness. Five undeniable facts of life. 1. Don't educate your children to be rich. Educate them to be happy. So, when they grow up, They will know the value of things not the price. 2. Best awarded words in London, eat your food as your medicines. Otherwise, you have to eat medicines as your food. 3. The ones who love you will never leave you for another because even if there are 100 reasons to give up, he or she will find one reason to hold on. 4. There is a big difference between a human being and being human. Only a few really understand it. 5. You are loved when you are born. You will be loved when you die. In between, you have to manage. Note, if you just want to walk fast, walk alone. But if you want to walk far, walk together. 6 best doctors in the world. 1. sunlight 2 rest 3 exercise 4 diet 5 self confidence and 6 friends maintain them in all stages of life and enjoy a healthy life god loves you Many ask, why is God allowing all of this to happen? The truth is, everything that's been happening in the four corners of the earth was already prophesied in the Bible. This is the inevitable fulfillment of scripture. These are the signs that precede the return of the Lord Jesus. God has always allowed humanity to go through difficult times. But the question is, why? We need to remember that when everything is going well, when the wind is at our back, 
our tendency is to relax and rely on our own strength. Many imagine that they are self-sufficient. They forget about God and even deride Him. But moments like these show us that we are nothing. In the blink of an eye, an invisible enemy can appear to take the lives of thousands with no regard for social class, race, or status. Where are the powerful ones now? Their money and power can do nothing to stop this virus from spreading. In times like this, we see just how fragile and insignificant we really are. Only in times like these do we stop to reflect and bow before the one true God. It's only in the storms of life, in the toughest of times, when people humble themselves before the Most High and seek His help. The writer of Psalms says, My suffering was good for me, for it taught me to pay attention to your decrees. Going through deserts teaches us much more than the comfort of green pastures. How many people have given up on praying but have now started to pray again? How many have been spiritually lazy but are now being shaken awake to restore the relationship with God? How many have drifted away but have come back to God in this crisis? God doesn't always change our situation, but He uses the situation to change us. God is using this time to test the faith of those who serve Him. Many are discovering that they spent their entire lives building their houses on the sand. Now that supernatural faith is needed, they've collapsed after years of not practicing what they were taught. One thing is certain. Whoever builds their lives on the rock will go through storms, yet remain unshaken. Storms come to everyone, but only those who hear and practice the word remain. God won't keep us from being thrown into a lion's den, but he'll close the mouths of the lions. God won't keep us from being thrown into a fiery furnace, but he'll ensure that not even a single hair of our head is burned. Let's have this faith as we go through these times, and in the end, we'll come out stronger.